What's up, man? How's everybody doing? You know, it's a little bit weird. I'm going to throw a different one into the mix here. I know I usually change a background, but it's a little bit too bland in that corner. I wanted to make a video because I love this product. No, nope, no, they didn't send me money for it. I actually purchased the product. How many times, I know a lot of you ride motorcycles, some of you ride bikes, some of you ride those, I think they're called scooter boards or it's a skateboard with a handle. So, but anyway, they have these quad lock types of things. And I just feel like it's been mass marketed. And a lot of people like those because, well, it locks and you have to use a proprietary case. But my problem was I didn't want to use a proprietary case because when I'm not using the quad lock mount, that just means that I'm going to have all this room of a case on my phone. And I don't want that. I wanted to use my own case. And some of you like otter boxes, so you can't use quad lock. There might be an attachment that you put on the back of the box, but that's still not exactly what you're looking for. And that's where this guy comes in. As you can tell, just by looking at it on the bike, it kind of goes more seamless. And when you put the phone in, the little hooks on the bottom, it kind of locks it into place, and then you clamp it down on the right side to make it really tight, and it doesn't shake. Now, keep in mind that the, the thing that comes, or that goes with the clamp, that goes around the handlebars, is really designed for thinner handlebars, but it does work on the motorcycle. I just had to remove that spacer and just go metal to metal. You're going to want to kind of get it into place when you put it on because it, it it could scratch it up if it's matte black like how mine is. And it just makes it sturdy. And when you hit bumps, you don't have to worry about it falling out. It can't fall down and it can't fall up because it's tight on the side. So that is the 12 Pro Max in there. And you can see that it's very, very tight. It can't come up. It's not going to go down because of the little stoppers here on the side. Don't have to use a proprietary mount. I would show you using my 14 Pro in here, but that's obviously a little bit smaller. But it just allows you to really grind this down and tighten it up to where this won't move. It won't vibrate. You don't have to use a proprietary connection or proprietary case. Just absolutely phenomenal. So I would 100% recommend this over any any type of plastic mount or piece of shit mount. You see so many of these, but this is an actual legitimate product that I've tested riding. I don't have any videos of me using it while I'm riding, but you can see that I was out at a location based off the video and it works perfectly fine. So if you pick it up, use the Amazon link down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. I've kept it real. So can you. Check this out.